time for it. Hey, I'm Princess. How are y'all doing today? This video is going to be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. If you are new here, welcome. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe, y'all. First things first, I only have one YouTube page, one Instagram page. Don't get scammed. You can only book a personal reading with me using my website, which will be listed down below in the description box, okay? I'm sending out an abundance of peace, love, and light always. May Father God continue to cover you, bless you, and keep you safe. I hope y'all are having a beautiful and blessed day, and I hope y'all have a beautiful and blessed week. Let's begin. Angels, ancestors, spirit guides of the highest white light, please come down and protect me. Please come down and give me clear messages straight from the divine. Archangel Michael, Holy Spirit, please come down and protect me, guide me, and keep me safe. And please come down and protect and guide the viewers that have clicked on this video today. What are the, ooh, what are the messages today? For Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and North Node. The card that popped out, and I love this card, is Malcolm X. It's something about you guys needing to really speak your truth. Okay, you guys have a clear vision. Your, your vision is getting clear at this time in regards to what direction you should be going towards, what you, what you should be giving to, what you should not be giving to, what you should stay away from, what's actually aligned with you. Your vision is getting clear. Yeah, and it could be because you guys were definitely dealing with a lot of illusions. The moon. The moon energy is all about secrets, illusions, things not being what they appear to be. I think Gemini got this card. Okay, this is something about you thinking something is going the way it is, and it's not. Okay, it's not. And you need to listen and trust your intuition to see to see past, to see the truth about it. This also strengthens your discernment. It strengthens your faith in God. Okay, so by doing this, like a lot of people view like the moon card as is a bad energy, but really, God lets people experience certain times of like darkness okay so that your your inner gifts can shine your inner gifts could come out that you can realize that they are real you can realize that god is real okay you guys could definitely have been in a situation here with the moon card i'm seeing here and you guys did not see exactly what was going on things were being hidden this could have been a relationship a person cancer energy is here heavily also pisces and capricorn you guys can have this in your birth chart. You, you will be connected to one. I see here, yeah, there was definitely like a third party situation here. I do see here you're coming to an acceptance type of energy. I don't know what your role is in this situation, but it seems like somebody here is making a choice to decide on one person. They could be connected to three different people. They could have had three different options, but they're choosing one person that makes them happy. This could be you making this decision in regards to that one person. Okay, or someone's making a decision in regards to you and saying that you are that one person that they want to give to. And it's the two of cups. Okay, it's like it's a true solid relationship that's coming in because two people are agreeing like this is what's going to happen. We're going to be working on this. We're going to be moving forward. Things are going to be positive. Things are going to be blessed. We're going to keep God as the focal point. Somebody's making a choice. It even could have been a dating scene or this could have been somebody that was like a polygamist, somebody that wanted to juggle different people and they're making a decision on one. Okay, Pisces is here. Yeah, you, you know, you listen to your intuition, trust your intuition. Taurus got this too. You guys have Taurus in your birth chart. You guys can be connecting to a Taurus. Okay, but it's it's really really important for you to trust and listen to your intuition at this time. Yeah, we also have the sun. God is illuminating different things for you. Is bringing in clarity, healing energy, peace, restoration. This is the happiest card in tarot. This is illumination. Anything that was being done in the dark is no longer going to be with able to withstand the sun, the light, the illumination, the power of God shining in your life. The number 19 could be significant. The number 10. Someone could be born um in September on the 9th. On the 9th. The 19 could be significant. Or 10. October. Something could have happened in September or October. That could be important. That could be significant to you. Okay, I'm also seeing here affirmations are taking place within your life. You guys are speaking out affirmations. Or you guys are like definitely focus, focusing on gravitating money. On being in an energy that like money wants to gravitate toward. <laughs> Because money is an energy. So I tell people, when you receive money, what are you going to do? Are you going to be, you know, you know, stingy with it, selfish? Because that's going to block the flow of money from coming towards you. That's, that's, uh, okay. Are you in an energy where like, you're like, dang, I got to pay this bill. Dang, I got to pay this bill. You know, that, that pushes away your, your abundance. <laughs> it's a mindset. It's time to realize, oh, this is a blessing. You know, God is great. I have the money to be able to pay for this bill. Wow. 
wrong. Like it just it it that shifts your energy and brings a positive flow of money of abundance towards you because I definitely see you guys are manifesting in money, income increasements. Okay, you guys could be starting on different projects or different business plans or you guys are building and you want your money to skyrocket. But it's also important for you to focus on the energy that you are in to attract the abundance that you are seeking, that you are searching for, that you are wanting to create. Okay, yeah, I do see here you guys are juggling a lot of things with the two of pentacles. It's a lot of different things on your plate, on your platter. Yeah, especially in regards to your home with the four of wands. You guys could have a lot to do with your home. Okay, this could also have to do with a partnership or a relationship. You could live with someone at this time. They could live with you, okay? Or you guys could be making decisions in regards to your home. Yeah, this is the truth. Everything I just said is the truth. <laughs> Ace of Swords. It's the truth. You're going to get the clarity that you need as well. This is like my favorite card. It's how y'all know this. I've added this one. I have a few favorite cards, but this is like one of my top. The Ace of Swords. You're getting ready to have the clarity, the truth that you need. Okay, this is being able to overcome any mountains, any mountainous terrain. Okay, because look at the mountains at the bottom. It's like the truth and clarity is going to set you in a place of power. Okay, it's leveling you up. The authenticity, the truth, okay, it's it's illuminating you. Something is getting ready to be illuminated to you and it's coming straight from the hand of God. This is going to be a, there's going to be some type of clarity, information, truth that comes out. And it's going to, it's going to bring it, it's going to be a force. Like this truth is, whoo, because look at the hand. It's going to be a force, like, boom, like, you're going to get, like, there's a force with the truth that's getting ready to come towards you, and it's, it's meant to help you, yeah, you guys could definitely already, mo already know this, okay, with the high priestess being here, I'm speaking to someone who's very intuitive, very empathic, very spiritually gifted, you guys are very inclined, you guys could have also, like, um, gotten a reading done, or you guys could be a reader, okay, with the, with the high priestess being here. You guys are also needing to listen to your intuition about a very promiscuous, immature energy. This could be a fire sign. doesn't have to be. Somebody uses sex. They use their body to get their way. This could be an entertainer. This could be someone that's in the public eye with the night of wands. They could be like clout hungry, clout chase. They like to clout chase. They like to dress very flashy or they like, they have like a nice car, a nice house, a nice things. This person, you need to listen to your intuition about this person because somebody is just for the fun of it. I'm hearing, just for the thrill of it, thrill of it by Wiz Khalifa. For the somebody's just for the thrill of it they just want to have fun i may need to tag that song for you guys it's, yeah this could be a king of swords individual that's manipulative somebody dark somebody is dark this could be someone that is like a professional they try to present themselves as very intellectual very intelligent you know someone that is powerful somebody that is somebody in this in society but really this person is a cheater a con artist a thief set of the swords they lie they manipulate what's the king of swords about yeah, you're being you're being guided to move away, Virgo. You better ghost this person. You better be in your energy. Y'all know what to do. Like y'all rule ghosting. Y'all rule ghosting. Y'all rule disconnecting. Y'all rule the who? Y'all ghost. Go ghost. The, her, the hermit. Do be in your energy. Okay, your spirit guides are saying, do what you do. What you do. You're being guided to go. You're being literally guided straight into this isolation. Straight into this disconnection, straight into going within for the answers, straight into healing, straight into really investigating and looking at somebody really clearly. Okay, this is really like this is investigation energy. Y'all know what y'all be doing. Y'all yeah, the investigators of the zodiac. I'm laughing because I'm seeing. I'm like, I'm like, okay, this woman. <laughs> I thought her hand was touching her chest like, oh, dear. Like, something that you're getting ready to, to see, you're going to be like, whoa, about. Like, look at her hand. You're going to be like, whoa. You're going to be finding out something, and it can even make you say enough is enough. Okay? For some of you guys, you guys could have found out something, and you're going to be closing the laptop. You're going to be putting the phone down. You're going to be like, okay, I found out the truth. This is the truth. And it's going to make you really go in, go in deep. Mm -hmm. It's going to really make you, like, reflect. Okay, yeah, seven of wands, so you can stay in your ground. This is like my other favorite card. <laughs> yeah, no, I love this card. I got to show y'all the other deck. Next week, I may use my other deck. It has the seven of wands. Seven of wands on the other deck. I forgot the name of the deck. It's still the original tarot. It's a man. This man looked like he'd been through the ringer. Like, he, he looked like he ready for war. He a fighter. He, the, the card is so, like, I love the energy because it lets me know you're ready to fight. You're no longer just going to lay down or, or let somebody, like, play over you. 
manipulate you, lie to you, deceive you, think that they can outsmart you. That's not happening any longer. Yeah, the hermit. And it wanted to come out in the reverse. This could easily, this could also be you guys coming out of a place of isolation. Somebody here could have wanted to keep you captive, hidden. And you're not to be hidden with the sun. You're meant to shine brightly. You're meant to be like known about. Yeah, it's time to make a decision. That's the truth. <laughs> That's the truth. Virgo, your energy today is something. <laughs> y'all could be laughing. Something could be really funny. Or y'all could just be really laugh laughing at like how somebody really thinks that they can outsmart you. And God is like, do you not know? Do you not know? Oh, I, where's the sun? The sun, I had, um, we, we saw the sun, but the sun showed itself twice. But still, this is still the hand of God. This is still God showing himself and God letting you know that the, the truth and clarity is what's going to break this this situation here, okay, it's gonna keep, it's gonna push you forward. It's gonna keep catapulting you forward because you're moving away from conflict. You're moving away from discord, from conflicting situations and even people. And with the six of swords being here, it's like you're moving to a way calmer place, energy within your life. This is like a tranquil energy. Why is the hermit card like that in the reverse? Yeah, the lovers. You're about to meet somebody. Y'all about to have options. Once you get out of this red, like when, once you. Uh, uh, once you like release an energy that wants to keep you captive and you embrace your, your true authentic energy, God is about to send you a plethora of different people. And these are, these are energies you're about to have your pick. You're about to be like, who do I want to talk to? Who do I want to deal with? You're about to have a whole lot of options in love, Virgo. You're about to have a whole lot. And it's for relationships to come in with the four. You need to reject a relationship first. The four cups of, for the four with the four of wands. 44 is significant as well. It's something about you letting something go that you know, like, you're not happy with. The Four of Cups, discontent within. You're not getting your way about. You could even be in a relationship with someone at this time. You could have thought that this person is a soulmate. No. You're about to, you're about to embrace or, like, be presented with people that are true divine counterparts for you or, like, a person that you could, like, truly build with. Because the Lover's Card is about having a true divine relationship, a true, deep, intimate connection with someone. Okay, you guys both understand each other on a soul level. Yeah, with the two of swords, you don't see this coming because it's something that you guys could be worried about or investing into now. Yeah, I don't see it. That you need to hold back from. Listen, with the truth coming out again with the eight of swords, I'm not going to keep telling you this, Virgo. Okay? I'm not going to keep telling you this. Like, every reading, we go through this. Like, I, mm -mm. Every every reading is something. <laughs> I got that serious. Four pentacles, you better, it's time to hold back. It's not even about you better. It's about if you want it, if you want real love. Do you want it or do you want to stay in a relationship that you're going to be hidden, that you're going to be like discontent with them, that you are not going to have love with them? Because I don't see no cups out, if you see. There's no cups out on this table right now. So even if, ooh, just, there's no cups here. There's no type of cups here. So whoever you was dealing with, it wasn't about the love. It could have been about the security, the stability, the money. It ain't about to love. There's no cups here. You guys have nothing but swords. Communication. Swift dialect. Swift communication. Swift communication. Even hurtful communication. But it is the truth. With the two of swords and the ace of swords, something about you being in denial or not wanting to address it, not wanting to embrace clarity or authenticity. But God is going to make sure that you receive it. And it starts by you listening to your own judgment. Literally holding back your resources, your time, your affection, your energy, because somebody's trying to drain you. And it has to do with, like, you, your home. Somebody may live with you. They could even, uh-uh. This energy, like, uh-uh. You need to listen to your intuition. Somebody could be using you for your home. That's for someone here. Or your money, your resources. And it's like, they don't want you to know this. Yeah, that's what they want you to juggle. This even could have been somebody that you guys were with for a long time. Weeks, months, even years, and they were doing this or getting away with this. It's time to let this go. It's time to reject this devil. Taurus got this too, y'all. It's time to reject this demon, reject this devil, reject this toxicity, reject this codependent, narcissist, relationship, connection, environment. It's time to let it go. It's time. It doesn't align with you. It doesn't serve you. It's toxic. It's time to go in a new direction that you are truly going to love and you're going to be meeting people that are really, really are going to be interested in you and not for what you have or what you could do for them superficial crap not you're not going to be connected to that no more okay it's all about you like literally embracing the truth embracing the truth and standing in your authenticity and your power that's what that's what's going to make you protected and that's what's going to keep you catapulting forward i hope this helped you hope it resonated with you may peace and blessings be to you always and i will be seeing you on the next video